this is Howie from Canada Vapes. We are going to be making a video all about the new iSmokas. So let's get started. Here we have the iSmokas which are available both in a 1.6 milliliter mini as well as the Mega 3.5 mil. Uh, out of the box they're going to come with three different ohm resistances, heating coils in here. The BCC, which stands for Bottom Coil Clearmizer. On the back of them, they have some nice, uh, just basic instructions on how to fill them. They're both relatively simple to fill, which we'll get into in a minute. So I'll just uh, pull apart each box. So you can see the, uh, the Mini. BCC Ice Smoker is exactly the same width as a standard Eco battery. So you put it in here and it goes in nice and smoothly. Looks pretty sleek. The Mega is a little bit larger, obviously, 3.5 mil. It's quite a lot of juice this thing will take and it just kind of sits on top of your battery like so. Um, what I like, what I personally have been using the last week or so, has been one of these spinner batteries that I just find amazing 1300 milliamp and it, uh, it's a little bit big but I like the way it fills my hand but that's not what we're talking about today we're talking about the uh, the uh, ice mocha clear miser so this is the one I've been using for about a week fantastic I really like it um, hasn't leaked or had any issues with me at all I like the pull in it I like my poles a little tighter it's definitely tighter but I like the mouthpiece as well and it's just simple to use so Right out of the box, this mini, um, you unscrew it at the bottom, and this is your heating element right here. This just pops out. It actually doesn't screw in or screw out. It just pops and kind of clicks. So you put it down in the center, give it a push, and then it slides into place like this. You can see it's in there nice and tight. Then you have your little rubber stopper on here. Underneath, you would have the heating coil would be right underneath here and then these are of course the little wicks at the bottom uh, a little tip I found was on one of my heating coils I found that the pull or sorry the hits were a little bit dry I was finding about every third or fourth hit I was getting I take pretty big pulls on my e-cig so I have a tendency to get that more than some others what I found helped was to simply um, pop this off and just pull out one or two of these threads very gently. You can use your fingernails if you got them or if you can't you can use uh, some tweezers and so what you just do is you just pull on one. You don't want to take out too many or else you can actually start to flood and you're just going to pull out one thread. So there. See that? That's one thread pulled out. and then you should be go, good to go. But I would only suggest you do that if you actually find yourself getting some dry hits. So, putting it back together, just gonna put this back on. Normally won't need to do this, but again, this is just more something uh, if you find you're getting some dry hits. So that just pops back onto there. And then this, again, just goes in. And you kind of click it down like that. And it just sits there. And then this screws back into there. So to fill, you're going to turn it upside down. And you're going to fill up this way. You're going to aim for the outside edge of here. So you, can, you don't need a needle tip. You can use one if you want. Uh, might be slightly easier. So you're just going to shoot it along the outside edge. You never want to go past the inside plastic airflow hole. If you go past there, then you're going to get liquid getting into your mouth, which is bad. So, fill up just below there. You're going to screw this back on here. Screw this back on here like this. Turn it the right way up. And you can see we now have about 1.6, 1.5 mil of the liquid in here. And that's it, basically. And you're just going to screw it onto your battery. And you're going to get vaping. The first three or four draws might be a little bit dry. Um, with some of these, it's a good idea to take a couple pulls on them without hitting your battery button just to kind of draw some e-liquid in there when it first gets started. So there's your mini. And here's your Mega. This is your Mega Clearmizer. 
it's uh, exactly the same setup. The, a few slight differences are the inner inner coil is actually it's metal instead of plastic. Or sorry, not the inner coil, the inner airflow hole is metal instead of plastic. But the heat in coils themselves are exactly the same on both these models. So you don't have to worry about you can if you want to buy one of each and you can use the same coils for both of them. So it's exactly the same. These are actually a little bit easier to fill because you're going to have more space uh, between the airflow hole. Both of these will have a removable mouthpiece that uh, you can clean when you're cleaning these. Um, so let's go over some cleaning, some cleaning steps. It's it's relatively straightforward. Um, every time you replace a the heating coil, you're probably going to want to give it a quick clean. And it's simply just removing this, running under some water. Um, same with this, you can uh, clean this out with some hot water. Um, and then you'd obviously pull out the heating coil and clean this area. This uh, rubber seal will pop out off. It's not necessary to, to pop it off every time or anything. And then just this bottom piece is uh, where it connects is permanent. Um, so there it is in pieces. Let's put it back together one more time. And then I guess I will uh, vape the uh, the mini. I'll show you how it works. Step one. Step two. Step three. And there it is, all back together, nice. So there's a side by side. The eye smoker mini and the Ice Smoke Omega. So you can see that the uh, the Mini is actually quite a bit longer than the Mega, and the Mega is fatter. So there you have it. Now again, this is uh, the Mini on a Eagle battery, and the Mega on an Eagle battery. Now they do work with um, the cones. I'll show you one with the cone real quick. These are the Clarimizer cones we sell. A lot of times with these cones what it tends to do is it'll actually adjust the draw a little bit. It could be a little bit tighter um, with the, the cones. Feel a little bit tighter and some people might not like that but aesthetically it is pretty nice. Like that. All right, so let's uh, vape one of these. Okay, here we are back with the mini bottom coil theromizer from my smoker. Right out of the box, it's excellent, excellent. Um, taste is great on it. Um, and just overall, I, I think, I mean, I don't like to give too much preference to one over the other because I think all the products we sell are fantastic, but I really think that the uh, ice smoke is going to be very popular. And this is just running again. Uh, I'm not adding any voltage to it. You can hopefully see there. I'm just running at 3.7 volts, which is the standard for all the batteries. I don't find you. This is the standard 2.2 resistance. Um, I don't think you need to, to increase the voltage at all on these things. I think they work perfectly fine, just the, the standard uh, the standard voltage on your batteries. Mm. So I'm using uh, Export A, I guess. It's a the liquid I'm using right now. I personally enjoy the tobacco flavors. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback once you get one of these things. Um, they're still on low intro pricing for the next few weeks at least so um, grab them while we got them. We have them available in I think six colors for the Mega and seven colors for the 
uh, mini, and this is just the standard clear color. All right, so now I for Canada Vapes. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon.